everyone. Welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today with a new deck from Epic of the Dragon Lord, the new set. And uh, we're here with the Black Ruler, and it's going to be super fun. It's it's a very interesting deck in the way it plays, but we'll get into it in a little bit. Uh, before we do it, we should remind you that we do have a Patreon, guys. The link is down below. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support, and we'd greatly appreciate it. Also down below, you'll find a link to our Force of Will Grimmar, which is our Force of Will database app slash deck builder. Um, and it's a really good utility uh, to use to help you with Force of Will if you're ever bored or something. Like waiting for a train, waiting for whatever. You're like, cool, I need to build the deck. Yep. Go look it up. And so far, we've been pretty on the nose of like new sets coming out. We've been having it. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, but yeah, check that out down below. Give us a like, comment on that. Uh, with that, we're going to delve into the deck called Death of Bounds. So... Our boy Mikage Seijiro is the ruler. He's the new black ruler from Epic. And he's got Energized Black, because they all do. Uh, and he's got Judgment for two black. So one of the lower judgments of the set. That so is we'll what see. it is. Uh, banish your resonator, draw a card. Then put two 1-1 one -one counters on target resonator you control. Play this ability only during your turn and only once per turn. So kind of eh. Yeah, it's, it's okay. He just helps trigger his ability, which is Revenge is what it's called. Um, and then when he judgments, he's a 10-10 with flying. Pay a black, banish a resonator, destroy a target, J slash resonator, which is really cool. That's good. Uh, and then revenge, if an entity you control was put into a graveyard from the field this turn, this card gains the following abilities until the end of the turn, which is drain, eternal, and plus, plus 1,000, plus 1,000. So he essentially becomes a 20-20 with drain and eternal. Yep. Pretty good if you have him on the backside, you could keep him as long as you have a dude. And, exactly. a, and black open. And you can immediately get rid of their J-Roller as yep, soon as possible. Which is super nice. Yeah. And of course we have no extra things, so we'll just jump right in the deck, which is kind of still weird, still <laughs> new feeling. But the first one is Lonely Vampire. It's a one drop, four, four. She's adorable. When this card leaves this field, your opponent banishes a resonator. Simple as that. Yeah. That's like this card's awesome in this deck because you're just like, cool, sacrifice the dude, put two counters on a thing, lose the dude. Yeah. Awesome. Pretty good. Uh, next is the Frightened Villager. It is a one drop four fours or one drop two two, and whenever this card is put into graveyard from the field, you put a four four black zombie token into the field. So, so he replaces himself, and you get more dudes to use with revenge. I like it. All right, let's see. Tusuya, Curse Sword of the uh, Spawn of the Star. All right, it's a split card as well with the Curse of Ragnarok. So the first one has the Resonator. He is a four four for a one drop. Enter, target player banishes a non-magic stone, non-J-roller. Put an X-1-1 one, one counters on this card where X is the total cost of the entities banished this way, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. They sack a dude and he gets bigger. And then you may pay a black less to play a card's name Curse of Ragnarok, so, which is the chant. It has Remnant as well. So look at your opponent's hand, choose a card, they remove that card from the game. And it costs two darkness. So the cool thing about this is you play this guy, they banish a thing, it gets bigger, they kill it, and then you can look at their hand. So it gets, like, it's a two-for-one almost every time. Yeah, this card... Or three-for-one sometimes. The more I play this card, the more I'm just like, this card is busted. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, it's super good, just because, like you said, it's a two-for-one. You get to have a dude that kills something of theirs. Yeah. Or you can even target yourself and kill a dude that you need to tr trigger revenge, which is kind of nice. Yeah. And then you can use Curse of Ragnarok from the other ones and or from him. Yeah, exactly. For one. So it's the one darkness as soon as it dies, too. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, next split card is Lord of the Undead slash Deadly Dive, and he is a 2-drop for a 6-7. Uh, other zombie resonators you control get plus 4, plus 4. Uh, and then Revenge. If you have that trigger, if a thing died this turn, you get Revenge trigger. Uh, enter, put a 4-4 four, four Darkness Zombie into the field. So he helps you bring in zombies. And then Chant, the uh, Deadly Dive, is as additional cost to play this card. Banish all the zombie resonators you control. This card deals damage equal to the total attack of the banished resonators to your opponent, and it costs two black. So you're like, cool, you make a lot of zombies, and you lose them all just to be like, hey, you take some damage. Yeah, you fling all your zombies at him, and he's dead, hopefully. Yeah. And there's another way you can build black, which I'm going to build it next <clears> time with this guy, but you do this as a mainstay. With, just use all the zombie cards, because like the last set had a whole lot of extra zombie cards that yeah. are just really good. All right, can't wait for that one. Next one, of course, another split card, Reaper Knight and Endless Knight. It rhymes. Yeah. It's a two darkness, seven, five resonator. So he has Bane, which is awesome. And when this card is put in the graveyard from the field, until in a turn, cards named Endless Knight in your graveyard gain remnant. And you may play them without without paying their cost, which is insane. So the the actual Endless Knight chant, it's a quick cast. Destroy target resonator your opponent controls, then 
Resonators gain minus two, minus two until end of turn. So literally, you swing in, kill something, it dies, the card is free to play Remnant and kill something else. Like, this guy is unstoppable. Yeah, he's super good if you have him. Uh, next up is the Elegant Mikage Sisters and Eternal Recurrence. Yes. So it is kind of like a reprint slash not. It's weird. Uh, so the Eternal Sisters, they are a two drop for a 9-9 with Flying Drain and Bane. Yep. And whenever this card deals damage, put two 1-1 counters on it. Doesn't matter what it deals damage Just, to. That's ridiculous. Uh, you can pay zero, return this card to its owner's hand. You may pay a black and three less to play the card that is named Eternal Recurrence until the end of turn. Play the ability on during your turn and only once per turn. Um, and then Eternal Recurrence is five mana, destroy all resonators. But if you bounce her to the hand, it costs one. Yeah. Which is what's really nice because she can quote unquote save herself, but you don't you lose it to use the card. Exactly. So if they get, they just, pl I don't know why they would plug up everything down because they know as soon as they do on your turn, you just bounce this and be like, oh, dead. Yeah. Everything's dead. So which is pretty awesome. The next one is Bone Dragon. It's a five darkness there for 17, 13 flying. You may play a uh, black less to play this card for each darkness resonator you control is put in the graveyard this turn. So he's not as powerful as the other ones. But enter, put X44 darkness zombies tokens in the field where x is the number of resonators in your graveyard that's that's good yeah that's what he makes up for his being less to play because yeah. it's a lot harder to get him out for free um but you get a lot more dudes yeah you get so much power for five yeah. or four darkness it's crazy yeah. uh next we're going to the chance the first up is soul hunt one of my favorite cards of force world because it's ridiculously strong yeah uh one black each player banishes a resonator then each player discards a card so this helps you trigger your uh, revenge easily. Yep. And you don't care if you lose dudes because you got Lonely Vampire and Friend Villager, both which do better, and Suya, which all do better in the graveyard. Yeah. So you don't really care. And whatever card you discard has Remnant, probably, so yeah. just cast it again. Uh, Ominous Moon, the Lunar Sword. It's a one darkness chant, quick cast. As additional cost to play this card, remove two 1-1 one -one counters from the entity you control, which can happen with your ruler. Destroy target J Resonator. Players cannot chase to this card. So that's it kill everything you want yeah this card is awesome because it can be chased too so you can't yeah. counter it you can't do anything about it you're just like cool just die just, just dead uh next is mona the dead it is another way to trigger revenge easy because it is one black quick cast you may banish darkness resonator rather than pay this card's cost yep. destroy target resonator if its total cost is less than the number of cards in your graveyard choose a card from a stranger deck that doesn't matter we don't have that yep. but it's just a free kill spell, and all you gotta do is lose one of your dudes that either replace themselves or make them lose another dude. So if exactly. you use this on a lonely vampire, you're like, cool, kill my lonely vampire, you sack a dude, you kill that dude. Simple as that. Next one is uh, Dance of the Shadows. It's, uh, of course, Darkness in 3. It's a mage art. Quick cast, Remnant, put target resonator you, uh, from your graveyard in the field, and the next end of turn, remove it from the game. So this can just, I don't know, trigger what well, Bone Dragon yeah. is an inner ability. Yeah, so it helps you get Bone Dragons real quickly. Just constantly. So it's pretty good. Uh, and next is one of the most powerful cards printed in this set, I do believe. And it is Abhorrent Revival. It is three black for put any number of resonators with combined cost four or less from your graveyard into the field. This card is insanity for what it does. Because it's three mana. It's just like March of the Dead, just better. Yeah. Because it costs the same amount as March of the Dead, but you get any combined cost of four. You can get four one drops. If you and want. It should be like, hey, cool. Or you can get a two drop and four drop, or a two drop and two drop, whatever. Yeah. It's just, it's insane how much value you get out of this card with this deck. Because you're already losing your dudes, you don't care. Yeah. And then you just get them back. And there's so many value in the two drop and three drop in this deck already. So to be able mm -hmm. to do that, it's, it's pretty good. Pretty awesome. Uh, that is it for the actual deck. We got the stones, the epic stone of, the, of blood. It is pay a black or revenge, put two long counters on target resonator. So it helps you get revenge triggers. Like it gives you more counters. Yeah. Um, and then we have the darkness magic stones. Deck's super simple. It's very straightforward. You're killing your dudes to kill them. And that's where we're at. Yep. Uh, and hopefully you just keep Mikage like flip pretty quickly. Not, you don't want to do it like super early. You want to make sure you can keep him alive. Yeah. But if he flips, you get to start winning. Cause you're just like, cool, kill your dude. And I yeah. can always be eternal. Yeah, and two swings, that's all it takes. It's a 2020 <laughs> Drain Bane, so yeah. as long as they don't have a kill early, early on, then you kind of just win. Yeah, this deck is very strong. It's very fun to play just because you're like, cool, Bone Dragon, get a lot of dudes. Yeah. But 
you'll see it on the channel very soon in, in gameplay. And uh, we thank you for joining us here today. We'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.